Yes. Sure. I wanted to ask you about something about uh, Burundi and I guess how the, the UN responds to statements by diplomats. Uh, there's a growing controversy that the, the ambassador of Burundi to the UN, Albert Sanjiro, uh, yesterday you know, tweeted a photograph of himself at the International Day of Yoga, but threw an account that's closely aligned with basically hate speech that says things about the number of Tutsis in the government should be reduced, the number of Tutsis should be reduced. So it, it's clear from the, from, from the way that it's phrased that he is the other account. And so people are, what I'm wondering is, you have Albert, you have Mr. Dieng issuing statements about, you know, threats of genocide in different places. Is the UN aware that the ambassador of Burundi is responsible for an account which has tweeted what can be described as nothing but hate speech? Well, uh, I, I wouldn't be able to make the inference about different tweets that, that, that you're making. Ultimately, it would be up to the permanent mission of Burundi to uh, see how its communications are being handled. Uh, certainly, we expect all member states uh, to uh, abide by uh, the basic uh, norms uh, in their communications, including an avoidance of, of any sort of uh, rhetoric of hate. Uh, 